So I'm up on the tree. I want to give you a few tips on on tree pruning. So first thing, you want to make your pruning easier as the year passes by. You need to make your trees prunable. What do, we, what do I mean by that? A few things. First, maintain an architecture that makes it easy and safe for you to stay up on the tree and for you to climb the tree. So, you know, lots of branches for you to hold on to. Not too many that they're going to uh, be in the way of you climbing the tree. So take a look here. You can see that I left this big branch and it's actually kind of damaged. So I'm going to have to substitute substitute it in the, in the next few years. But I left a branch for me to step on uh, right where my ladder reaches. So, you know, you, you can you can start allowing branches right on the height that you your ladder reaches. I've got a, a small ladder. It's it's like uh, two, two and a half meters tall or something. And I'm allowing some re-sprouts and, and I'm conducting them for them to become climbing branches. So, you know, I, I, I can, I'm making a ladder on the tree basically so that I, so that it's easy for me to climb. So this is one point, you know, make the easy, the tree prunable. Second thing, don't allow the branches to grow way too big in length because that's going to make it harder for you to prune them. Ideally, you want to prune branches always leaving leaves on the branches. You know, I, I don't want to leave the tree like a skeleton unless it's a deciduous tree and you're pruning them when they have no leaves on the branches, then obviously. But then even on, on deciduous uh, trees in tropical and subtropical regions, if they lose the leaves because of drought and not because of cold, many times by pruning at the correct moment, the tree will re-sprout and it will skip this deciduous phase and it will re-sprout and maintain a bright, lush, green canopy throughout the dry season. So that's a cool trick to know if you want to maintain uh, your field greener during the drought. So uh, you can see that the, the, the stumps where I pruned the tree, you know, I left these branches here, you know, this one and that one are the ones that I left from the last pruning. So now they're the ones that are gonna be pruned and I'm gonna leave again some third order branches on them or some leaves. You can see here also the stump, it's got all this huge growth, you know, three really big shoots that grew quite tall. This, this has six months, all right, people. I've pruned this tree six months ago. And over here, you can see the same thing. This was one prune, this was one pruning, this was another pruning, this was the third pruning, and I'm going for the fourth pruning. Um, and you can see that I, I have this really cool architecture where I can, you know, safely sit down and I've got something to put my foot on and I can easily climb up here and, and prune all the branches on the tree. So th these are just a few things um, for you to make your tree prunable. You know, always prune thinking of the next year that you're going to need to prune. If you allow the branches to go through too, too big in length, you're going to have a hard time pruning them next year. So always shorten the branches and always think of how you're going to climb up the tree. So now I'm going to prune it.